Hey guys, welcome to Mojo Group. Mike here. So today we're gonna get an update on the Pipistro Panthera. Uh, this is one of the most requested aircrafts uh, for me to review, and I'm personally excited about it. I've been excited about this airplane since inception. Okay, so backstory: the first time I heard about the Panthera, I was actually just training for my pilot license. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I train in a DA-40, which looks very similar to the Panthera. So at the time, I remember just being super excited uh, about this airplane. It was basically a DA-40, but more spacious and a lot faster. Okay, so when the Panthera was first introduced, uh, this airplane was introduced as a true four place cross-country airplane that is also economical all right so here's some basic stats panthera will carry four people with baggage you can go a thousand miles and you can cruise at over 200 miles per hour and you're only burning 10 gallons of fuel per hour okay so these are all to me what any pilot owner would want in a four place airplane uh, other than the price so at the time the panthera was expected to cost anywhere between 600 to 800 thousand uh, dollars but right now the price is different and i'll explain that in a little bit uh, in the video so since then again it's been five years uh, but a lot of things have dragged or stalled um, and there, there are good reasons for that as you know a lot of good honestly a lot of really good airplanes usually get stalled or they die some airplanes don't even make it uh, to production because of the certification process and the pipistro panthera is sort of in limbo in that process right now it takes years to certify an airplane anyway so one of the major issues or I, I would say setback for the panthera project was the initial power plant for the panthera was a lycoming io 390 which is more than enough power to get you up and go. It is a high performance engine. And again, Pipistro was selling this aircraft as something that's very economical. You're gonna be burning much less fuel uh, when you're cruising or when you're flying. But the setback came in when Lycoming, who is the manufacturer of the IO390, would not approve this engine for mole gas. Okay, more gas meaning car gas. All right, and that's that's a way to save a lot of money. I'll give you an example. Mole gas here, I can get it for less than $4 a gallon, whereas the normal fuel for airplanes, which is 100 low lead, those cost up to $6 a gallon. So you're gonna be saving on average $2 per gallon if you go with mole gas. And I figured that this was extremely important to the Panthera project um, if you're gonna be able to save money with your fuel costs. Again, it's being sold as an economical engine. But Lycoming would not approve mole gas for the IO390, which makes Pipistro go back to the drawing board and switch up what power plant that they're going to use. Okay, and this was, I would say, three to four years ago. And so since then, Pipistro announced that they're now going to use a more bigger engine, which is the IO540 for the Panthera project. And since we've heard they're again in the certification process except more recently the company announced that uh, the panthera would now be an experimental kit that you can buy and build on your own now i actually think that's a great route for the company because again when you think about it a lot of airplanes just get stuck in certification because it's a daunting process and i also feel like with going experimental you get a chance to test the market you get a chance to make changes or whatever changes that you need to make to the aircraft and then perhaps also raise some money because you know i bet designing this airplane the entire project costs millions of dollars so going experimental is a good way for the company to raise money and then perhaps start a new certification process and hopefully you know get this thing certified now either way you look at it you still have to wait if you want a paper show panthera 
it's still gonna be a process and you probably wouldn't have a flying airplane until years down the line. I did reach out to Pipistrelle and this is what they've told me. If you're interested in getting a Panthera right now, they are collecting deposits and actually they have quite a few orders already. So you'd have to get a line. And to make a deposit for this airplane, you are looking at $23,000, 20,000 euros. So about 23 grand uh, to make a deposit and if you are you can either make a deposit for the kit or you can make a deposit for the certified version so 23 grand to get in line and the expected date of release if you go experimental uh, you're looking at two years down the line so december 2020 is the date they gave me and for the certified version you're looking at even further down the line at 2022, okay? But here are the awesome stuff you should expect from the Paper Shop Panthera. One, design-wise, it is quite spacious, and they have a lot of videos already on YouTube. You can always search for this airplane and you see some of the videos. Uh, the Panthera is spin certified, so you can go into a spin and recover uh, with this airplane. Again, it is a four place. Uh, now avionics is going to depend on the owner or if they are flying this airplane for vfr or ifr but i assume most people buying an airplane like that would probably get ifr certified um, it is a complex airplane meaning retractable landing gear which i personally appreciate also you can get the panthera in four different options okay you can get it right now with the io 540 either experimental or you can get it also as a certified. So that's one and two, but also Panthera is available in hybrid version, okay? And you can also get it as a fully electric powered airplane. See, these are the things that are exciting about the Pipistrelle brand. As a company, to me, I think that they're always, you know, hands-on and always thinking advance in the future. And if you look in the market right now, Pippa Show is actually one of the few companies that's taken the leap of fate and gotten into fully uh, producing fully electric airplanes. And I love the fact that this option will also be available for the Pippa Show Panthera. Now, again, this is gonna take years for all of this stuff to come to fruition, but it is exciting nonetheless. I am planning a Euro trip for 2019 and my hopes is to be able to stop and check out this airplane in person. If you want more information, check out the link below uh, for the Pantera and you can also subscribe to their channel on YouTube. Again, I hope in the future to check out this airplane in person, but until then, you guys stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike. If this is your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Also, give a thumbs up. If you enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up and share the video. Until next time, guys, I will catch you on the next video. Peace.